hello friend my name is ajaz and welcome back to my channel bro learner today we are going to download and install flutter and android studio in our windows 11 machine and we create our first flutter app with the help of android studio without further delay let's start first of all open your favorite browser and search flutter download flutter download and then hit enter you can see the official website which is doc dot flutter dot dev just open this website and here you can see the download option for windows mac os linux and chrome os for windows just click here and here you can see the system requirement which is windows 10 or 11 of 64 bit or 32 bit and the disk space is 1.64 GB and you need to have Windows PowerShell 5.0 which is already there and we have to install Git first just click here and you redirect to the official website of Git and here you can choose the bit version which is 64 bit or 32 bit I'm going to download for 64 bit just click here it will start downloading it is not more than 58 MB it is downloaded and after that just double click on it and then I minimize this now click on yes now click on next click on next yes then click on next 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 and then install it not take more than one minute after finish just uh, untick this and click on finish now after this installation of git just uh, come to the file explorer come to the disk pc and then c drive and here comes to the program file and here you can see the git just open it and open the bin and here copy the path and then minimize or you can cut also yeah here in search panel type system system environment variable and open it and after that click on environment variable now here you can see the path just uh, click on edit and click on new and here paste the path you can see we have already the get uh, cmd but we have to do the bin also okay now click on okay okay and finally okay now after this open this and just back and here after this we have to download the flutter zip file just click here it will start downloading it is of 885 mb it takes some time and then we will see how we can install okay here you can see flutter is successfully downloaded just show in folder and here you can see it is of zip file just double click on it and click on extract all and i'm going to extract here and then cut and paste to the c drive just click on extract it takes some time because it extract 12188 files okay now here you can see letter is successfully extracted just double click on it and just cut this file just cut and after that click on mm, c drive and here you can create a folder name is src src and hit enter and after that open this file paste the extract extracted folder now after this just open this letter open the bin and after that copy the path that we did in git and after that just minimize this and this and here same type the 
system environment variable and open it and click on environment variable and click on path click on edit click on new and paste then click on ok click on ok and click on ok finally now after this we have to open the cmd to check whether we successfully install the git and flutter okay first we check the git git hyphen v and then hit enter you can see we have git version 2.41.0 windows 3. Point, windows point 3 theek hai and after that we check flutter flutter doctor doctor or you can directly just type flutter and hit enter now here you can see we successfully installed the flutter also we have flutter windows version now here you can see there is a cross in windows lightning because we haven't installed the android studio just cut this out and after that open your favorite browser here you can also download the android studio just scroll down a little bit and you can see this android studio here or you can either come to the new tab and find android just type android studio and then hit enter and after that you can see the official website which is developer.android.com just open this and here you can see the download option and same option you get here also whether suits you you can go for it i just click on download and then you have to read the term and condition and then just agree and download and it will take some time because it is of 988 mb okay now here you can see we successfully downloaded android studio just double click on it and after that i minimize this click on yes click on next click on next click on next click on install it will take uh, not more than 1 minute have patience click on next click on finish you can see we have successfully download and install android studio just click on don't send now here we have to install the plugin of flutter click on install click on accept third party and click on install and then click on restart the ide just click on restart now here click on more action and then click on sdk manager now here tick this and tick this 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 and this and click on okay click on okay it will take some time and after that it will complete it okay click on finish now after this you can see the flutter new project click here now here click on the flutter and provide the path that we created src and in src we extract the flutter and paste it here click on that and click on okay and click on next now here we have to provide the project name which is nothing but flutter first now after this this is the location you can change also 
and I just leave it as it is. Now after this, click on create. Now here, just change this name. I just provide demo. Demo. Underscore app. And after that, click on create. It will create our first project in Flutter. It takes some time to load the project. Okay. Now here you can see our project is loaded and we have to create a virtual or physical device. If you are using your Android phone, you can connect with your Android studio and you can run and the application run in your mobile phone or otherwise you can create a virtual device and click on add one because i already did and that's why it is show, show me this you can create a new one also click on create and after that you can choose the mobile phone here you have a lot of option you can choose the six pixel six pixel six pro whatever suits you i just click on pixel five and click on next and you can choose the S version, R version, Pi, Oreo, whichever suits you. Or you can choose the API version also. I just leave it as it is and click on next. And you can choose the orientation, landscape mode or portrait mode. And you can change the name also. And after that, click on finish. And it will download it and then you can use it now after refresh and after that click on the device you downloaded i choose the second one which i downloaded right now and after that click on this run button okay we have to choose Now here you can see device is showing and after that you can click on run. It will take some time and after that it will run our first Flutter app. Okay. Now here you can see our first application of Flutter is successfully run and when you click on plus the counter incremented and similarly when you want to increase the display size of this phone you can just click on plus icon and when you want to decrease just click on this minus button so this is how you can download android studio and create your first flutter application with the help of android studio so that's it for today's video hope you liked this video if you did please subscribe my channel share with your friends and bye bye